Good morning. I am so tired, which is why I'm drinking this. <clears throat> I'm back to um, five o'clock wake-ups, even though I went to bed about midnight last night and I've had a right old busy weekend. Good, like it's just um, total, <laughs> it just made me laugh because what well, was lovely, went to barbecue Saturday and Sunday at different friends' houses, but it's like the sun came out and the way we are, we're just like, oh my God, we know no one knows how long this will last barbecue and just everybody everyone went to barbecues so you could smell it everywhere it's just like oh my god the sun's out at the weekend I was like oh but so yeah I'd sort of been drinking quite a bit this weekend eating loads and uh yeah so I'm so tired and woke up at blim and five o'clock so I'm drinking I've got really into these twinings tea since I've been trying to um cut down on milk um, because, oh no, it was the two things that you could apparently, oh, by the way, just to let you know, this is going to be a bit waffly this morning, I'm tired, and so there's a bit of waffle, a bit of reselling, a bit of goals, a bit of what happened in June, um, tea talk, <laughs> yeah, so since, yeah, somebody said to me, the two, the two best things as an individual that you can do to help the environment are to have a plant-based diet and stop flying, we actually are flying less this year, but it's kind of, um, that's just the way it happened. Um, last year, we've been on the plane every, every opportunity. Um, and also, I don't eat meat, but I do eat fish, but I've been trying to cut down on milk as well to find out what they do to cows. So I've been, anyway, I've been drinking loads of these twinings. Um, so this is energised green tea with mandarin, apple and guarana. I tell you, it needs speed or something to get me awake today. It needs, I could do with it saying a lot more than that, to be honest. But it doesn't even taste that, this, I don't know if you can see it, it doesn't even taste that nice for me, to be honest. It says thing, nice things to draw you in, like mandarin and apple. It just tastes like shitty green tea to me. Um, but I'm hoping. I've already had two cups of PG tips, by the way. Gosh, and breathe. Yeah, I've done the school run. We're a bit late for that, but not that wasn't actually my fault. Um, right, okay. Good morning. Morning, Chris. Hello, Crispy. Tap Peddler, Richard. Oh, the boys are in. Um, hi, Betsify. Hi, Cheryl. Karen. Oh, you're up at 5 m too. I know, because I saw your message, and I thought, oh, you're already on Messenger. And then I was like, you know, you kind of like, I thought, don't look at your phone. Don't look at your phone. Just go for a wee and then come back and you might go back to sleep, but no. And then after like half an hour, I'm just like, I'm looking at my phone. Um, but then actually all my little goals came to me, so that was quite productive. Um, hi, Mandy. Hi, Jason. Love my cup. Oh, oh yeah, you, you can get one of these for your little one. Um, so what was this? Connie at five and a half months. Batch, oh yeah, the, I heart great nan. Great nan isn't with us anymore, but yeah, everyone got these where we got, you know, went to a party thing and um, got all their f their feet and tams put on cups and stuff. Um, we've got some. Uh, you can get all these. I'll come back to it in a minute, but Cheryl, you can get all these things like you can get a kit um, where it's really tricky because you can put their like foot or their hand into like a mold thing, and then it. Um, Oh, two sets, I'll show you. Sorry about this, everybody. I will be refilling in a minute. Um, I'll show you the feet so that we don't. I'm back. This is just really for Cheryl's benefit. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, see, the, I still like these. Well, not, see, I did this myself, so that's why it's a bit cocked up, but you can do get these kits and you can like put their feet in and I can't I don't also I don't remember which one's Connie probably the fatter one was Connie which one was Connie and which one was Maud but the other thing is you have to wait really till they're asleep to do this otherwise well you can see she's scrunched her ankle up a bit um and you never want to put their feet into some like plaster mixture because you're going to risk waking them up you never want to wake them up well I never did anyway anyway yeah you can do that sort of thing I quite those are I quite like those. Anyway, back 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 to it. Um, who's just come in? Hi Sue. Hi Lisa. Hi Heather. 
God, yeah, honestly, I'm so tired. Right, so I will, I've already, I'll have show you what's going out um, in a minute. I'll just give you a bit of waffle, um, irrelevant waffle. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've already done, I did two parcel drop-offs already this weekend. This weekend was pretty good for me for sales, and um, certainly compared to everything was better than last month. Um, Hi, Caroline. Can you not put them in plaster to the roll not to leave home? <laughs> um, oh, God, I could go off right on a tangent right now, but I'm, gonna, I'm back. I'm, I'm going to try and keep keep off the tangent. Um, well, my, yeah, June. Oh, my God, so much better on sales. Still not what it was, but I'm going to give you some figures. Um, yeah, I went to the parcel shop twice already because... Um, we were, it's also, it's the parcel shop, it's also the booze shop. So obviously barbecues, we were, we went in Saturday, so I did my parcels and then we went in again yesterday. So I did parcels yesterday, but I've got another seven, I think it is sales since I did the parcel drop yesterday, yesterday afternoon. So that's, yeah, that's how good it's been for me. Um, and I also got rid of a bulky, uh, like wicker lampshade yesterday, which is part of one of my goals actually. Um, oh my god, Cheryl, two things for 20 quid. You need to sell whatever Caroline's selling. <laughs> She's done over 500. Hi, Al. Bloomin' Henry. Yeah, so where should we start? Yeah, I'll talk about, I'll give you some figures. So at the moment, yeah, because June goals, one of them was to get to, was to add 100 listings to get to 830, which I did manage, but I've dipped under it again now. Um, yeah, so I did get to eight eight thirty, but now I'm down to eight hundred and seven listings. Um, and of those listings, four hundred and eighteen have watchers. Seems to be about half the course, so, but that's actually a new record. It's normally just under half or half. So we're over half now with watchers. Um, I mean, it is a good thing because obviously you can do the offers to watchers, but also. It's really made me think when there's, I mean, that um, with a lampshade, it didn't go for that much actually in the end, but it was a standard lamp one, not a ceiling one. I think it was a ceiling one, it would have been more popular. Um, I had some cheeky bint message me and say, if you dip 12, I'll have it. And I was like, mm, jog on, I'd rather, I was just pathetic. I, just, I had to talk to my husband and say, am I being stupid here? Because this is a business, isn't it? Should I just go, yeah, fine, and get rid of it? I only paid £1.50 for it. And he was like, no, don't sell it to her. I was like, all right, fine, I went. Um, and he went for 16 in the end because I was dropping it because I really wanted to get rid of it because it was huge. And also I was thinking it had 24 watches, 24 watches. Um, so what it's making me think when it's got that amount of watches is, right, there's an issue here. Is the picture's not good enough or clear enough for them to see or is it the price? Because there's obviously the interest but so they're not going over and actually buying. So, um, so I have been dropping prices on, um, well, a lot of stuff, but particularly I'm looking at where the watches are. I'm like, what can I do to force them into, or force them in, <laughs> sounds wrong, doesn't it? Um, like just to tip them over to, yeah, I'm happy now, I'm gonna buy. Um, yeah, so, um, Oh, thanks, Catherine. Yes, yeah, sales have picked up. Hi, Anne. Listing, brilliant. Stuff to fact. Chris had 21 sales and four in your new store. Oh, oh, I might have missed a video. What? How come you've got a new store? Are you, is that for different stuff? Oh, Heather, yeah. I'll tell you what, I've been right through the Maya, as we all know, because I've been whinging about it. Um, and actually, it's been ages, I think, since I've done a YouTube video. Probably I haven't felt like it. Um, oh, yeah, it's amazing because I don't have best offer on, on. I don't think I've got it on anything at the moment, but people will still message you. And, and to be fair, occasionally I'll say, "Yeah, I'm in. I'm in the mood to, to for a cheeky offer today. You can have it. That's I want to get rid of it." But yeah, it was like the way she put it. Like, I'll give you if you no, know, if you reduce it to twelve, I'll take it. it. It was just there's no like, oh, I love this. Um, any chance you would accept? You know, it was just. It wasn't very polite and then I just think I just don't want to sell to rude people but I couldn't work out if I was not being like a business seller I was being 
if anyone has was like, no, don't sell it to her. <laughs> um, Mandy, 80% of your goods have watches. 80%? That's mental. Whoa, I thought 50% was high. Whoa, oh, encourage, yeah, I'd like to encourage them to buy. That's not force them. Uh, put, I'll put you in plaster if you don't buy. Um, that is amazing, 80%. She would have returned. Yeah, this is the this is I've said this to people, and we all know it. The cheaper something is, the more issues you seem to have with the buyer. It's really weird. The stuff that I sell higher end, just get positive feedback. We just never hear anything. You just think, oh, must have been happy. Um, vintage kitchen stuff and ceramics. Ooh, I think I need to catch up with your videos. That sounds interesting. Um, mm. So where was I? Oh yeah. So previously in my previous eBay life before it all went to pot. Um, I mean, last year was good overall the year and considering it was my first year, um, I beat what I used to earn at the charity um, as a fundraiser and uh, I what was the overall profit for the year? It was about 10K, I think. No, sorry, that's what I, oh, I can't remember. No, maybe it was 10 I got from the charity and that was about 11 odd or something. Anyway, I was happy. Um, no, it must be more than that. God, this is wittering. Um, but basically, I'm like, well, I'm aiming for a grand profit a month, really. Um, and then I feel, yeah, that's a good job done. That's, um, you know, I'm doing something. I, you know, obviously, it's money, but that's the level I'm looking for. Um, but then, obviously, in which month was it? March, it's an, it went dire. So January, maybe January. Uh, oh no, I'm looking at this tax year. So April was fine. Next, oh god, I can't words. Yeah, March was bad, but then May was worse. That's right. But March was in the last tax year, so I looked at it as a whole tax year, and that made me feel better. And thought, all right, forget about March then. Um, and then yeah, then April was fine. Then May was hideous. Um, it was 60 pounds profit for the month. I mean, that's like to go from, oh, well, I aim for a minimum of a grand to 60 pounds was mental. Um, so then, um, so I was racking my brains, I've got to do something. And so I've been doing loads of stuff and taking advice on board. Um, so June was way better. So the profit for the month was 750 at plus, um, I'm going to tell you something shocking in terms of what I've spent on stock because you will be shocked, I'm sure. I'm quite shocked. <laughs> um, so I've got lots of good stock um, that will provide fruit later on. Uh, so, yeah, so way, way better. And like, yeah, like the little stats of how against last month and uh, this time last year were like 40% up, which it, it wasn't difficult because I was just getting off the ground last year and the month before was hideous. But, um, yeah cost of goods what i've spent on goods if my um i use the uk uh, what's it called quickbooks i use that and if the figures are right on there because it miscategorizes stuff all the time and i've done and go oh no that's cost of goods for resale no that's not blah blah but if it's done it correctly and i'm on top of it i spent 1104 pounds on goods last month and I imagine, uh, Kelly, if you're watching this, you should be having a heart attack right now. <laughs> but it's partly where I live. Um, no, I'd say it's a lot where I live. It's freaking expensive down here for buying stock, which is why I'm trying to go for more expensive stuff so there's still actually a profit in that. Um, and I've got sort of some fails that I'll show you in a minute that are going out. Um, so, yeah. So... Right, I'm going to show you some stuff going out and then I'll tell you my, my July goals. Hi, Z. So, let's find more of your items with watches sell for your ones with watches. I've had a couple that just come out of the blue, but they do tend to be what... It, and it, that might be reflective of your... Your pricing might be better than mine, Bets Fire, because um, I'm a, I, I've been, been doing a lot of looking at reviewing you know a year ago uh, 40 quid for a tab break dress yep no problem it's not i've been selling tab break dresses for um i've sold a couple this week for like 20 odd 
you know, and I had them on at 40. So, of course, they were getting the watches because people were interested, but they weren't buying because that's not the current price for that type of, I mean, if you've got more recent type egg dress, I'm sure you can get more. But for the type that I had, um, you know, older stock or whatever, that wasn't the price anymore. And it was never going to sell at that. So that might be why, you know, I've, I've been really looking at my prices and that's how I've got my, how I've got my June sales up is, I took on board that I don't like it, the promoted listings, but I've been promoting to hell. Um, and, you know, I'm getting sales from it. I seem to get sales from stuff that's not even promoted as well. I don't know if it's driving traffic. Um, I've also really been reviewing my prices and discovered, oh, I had loads of stuff that was just out of date with pricing, really. So it was never going to sell. You know, he was getting the watches. Um, Yeah, I think the thing is with the watches, though, they will get will they get a message when you're altering the price. Or, on the other hand, maybe it's not the watches that are buying. Maybe it's just that I'm, I'm looking at those because there's watches and going, oh, what can I do? I'm altering the price. And then somebody brand new is coming along and going, oh, yes, and that's the right price. Maybe it's just somebody brand new what, what, uh, buying it um, because I've been, I'm tinkering tinkering to buggery at the moment um but it does seem to have worked for me <laughs> um yeah june was crap what are you wtfing about karen <laughs> uh need to get to the northwest i know um kelly keeps inviting me up to Oh, don't laugh at me. I don't know where Nottingham is in the country, but it's north, isn't it? It's norther than where I am now. Um, depends on the return of investment. Well, yeah, sometimes it, it you get more, but for me, I'm not, you know, some of it's more like getting the bread and butter, like tenor out of something. I'm having to spend more just to get the tenor out this year. But, you know, if that, that's where it's going to be, that I need to adapt to it. That's why I kind of feel I need to adapt. Um, oh, how much I spent on stock? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm hysterical. However, yeah, the thing I would say is I've got some nice stock that is going to sell and I'm, I'm confident will make me money. So that's good. Um, but, yeah. I'm still, I've, I'm off the mind at the moment. I need to source wherever I go. And I didn't even go to the car boots this weekend because, well, maybe partly because we were drinking all weekend, but partly um, it's just been rubbish at the car boots. And the trousers, I'm just like, right, I just have to look for stuff wherever I go. It could be retail arbitrage. I could be somewhat, you know, like Home Sense or something and get something from there. I could be at the car boot. I could be at the charity shop. I could be, you know, Facebook, whatever. I'll have a look wherever I am now because I need to spread all my eggs. Is that right? Um, you know what I mean. Right. Oh my word, Catherine. <laughs> One pound, two pounds on clothes. Oh, I'll give you some shocking information in a minute then for some of the stuff that's going out. Uh, yeah, so what's going out now? Yeah, so this, I've got some stuff here that I've had forever. These two, cashmeres. And I thought, it's just Marks and Spencer's pure cashmere. Actually, I've gone to the same person. I thought it was because they were short-sleeved. And then, so normally, pure cashmere, I sell for like 30 quid. I've had these, for, I'm sure, about a year, good year. Um, and they've actually sold for, yeah, I think. Let me double check. Um gone to the same person and they have sold for 25 and 20 so a lot less and then when I look I was looking for them I'm like uh just looked to my phone so I'm picking the right ones and actually one of them's a shrunken one which I've had to say oh it says I think it's this green one it says 14 on the label but it's measuring a uh, 10 to 12 um and I thought well no wonder it wasn't selling at 30 quid that was probably mental and I just thought oh it's pure cashmere 30 that's my price and didn't look at it again um, so, because I've been looking and I've been dropping, and I've been dropping the prices on stuff that I've just had, you know, if I've had it a year, I'm dropping the price because I'm just sick of seeing it. Um, so, yeah, so 45 for those two, going to the same person, pure cashmere. 
it was so long ago that I, I bought this, but I used to, I don't know, I pay, I mean, I got, I did actually get a Kashmir, pure Kashmir Cardi 50p at the car boot the other week. It's the only thing I got at the car boot. But then, you know, I pay a tenner or whatever for Kashmir as well. Um, Caroline, everyone's business model's different. Each individual needs to be comfortable with having the amount they spend on stock tied up into the item sales. Oh, yeah, totally. Um, yeah, and if I had more access to cheaper stuff, then I would not be spending the amount. But I, I literally just have, I've got to get comfortable with it if I'm going to carry on and to make a profit. So, um. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. I've said, is this the phase eight one? I said ages ago, I'm, I'm, I'm phasing out phase eight. This is wrinkled to bugger, it's silk. Um, I'm phasing out phase eight. I think I might have some more. I've probably got some like phase eight cashmere jumper cardigan things. And that might be it. And then this top that's sold. I've reduced this so much to get rid of it. It was just, I've had it so long and it went for six pounds in the end. And... The thing with some stuff that I pick up now is I'm not even, I partly I'm looking at what can I get out of it, but I'm also partly looking at it in terms of um, how long I'm, I might have it to sell it because it starts to really do my head in and I'm and I'm kind of thinking, God, I'm not going to get lumbered with this, am I? I'm going to get lumbered with it and then I'll have to look at it and keep fanning around with the price. When you fan it around with the price like 100 times, you just like, just take it. In fact, actually, I'll just post it to you who wants it, you know, so that's, yeah, I'm kind of clearing stock, which is kind of one of my goals this month as well. Will I be ironing that? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe I'll hang it a bit. It's going to get creased in the envelope -y thing anyway. It, it didn't look like that in the photo. That's not why it's been around so long, but it's blooming silk, so it's crumpled up where I've rolled it. There you go. I'll put it nicely. I'll stretch it out a bit. Um... <laughs> I don't, I did get the iron, I did break the iron out last week for something because it was so bad, a shirt, for photographing, but I don't, when I, before I post it, I don't photograph, I photograph, I don't iron things. Um, I take the creases out in the photos. Yeah, I've been known, I'm in the winter, if you hang it over a hot radiator, that helps get some of the creases out, doesn't it? I think it does. Um, yeah, so I just want to try this brand. So this is a bit of a fail, to be honest. There's a couple of these, there's Cabbages and Roses. But it's a small, and that's probably partly why, because I had paid £10.75 for this. I was actually, too, oh, yeah, I remember, actually, I quite liked it myself. Tried it on, and it didn't do anything for me. I only went for 22 Um So I paid too much for that. But I think if you got something that was more desirable right now, then it would be worth paying that for cabbages and roses. Um, but I just wanted to try it, and it's probably put me off, to be honest. So that is that. And where's the other? Oh, yeah, this also I paid too much. This was similar. This is a Rohan, like, heavy cotton top. It's an XL, and I paid 9 dollars far too much, and that went for 22 So, yeah, I mean, like, 220 350 Yeah, I'm only making... Oh, God, I can't work this out. There's not much more than a tenner coming off of that, is there? Or is it less than a tenner? Uh, trying to do maths here. Nine. I don't know. I'm really far too tired for this, but the, the, they weren't they weren't good buys to be honest. Um, hmm. Ladies linen trousers. Well, hands hit and miss for me. Sometimes. Well, yeah. I mean, it's not. I don't know, actually I haven't checked the Rohan website to see what it is new, to see what level it is. Um, I do pick it up and I have sold a fair amount of it to be honest and sometimes for quite an alright profit but I mean, I've just spent too much on that. Um, so, yeah, and then yeah, I've been trying out a lot of brands. Oh, what is this? Oh, similarly, for what I paid, yeah, you probably want more. Um, for 13 50, 10, yeah, probably made about 11 50, 11 pounds out of this, which you'd probably want more. I've spent nine pounds 50 and it went for 25. Um, yeah, again, 
I will not be ironing this before it goes out. It's a stretchy dress. It's Peruvian connection. I've sold a few bits of this actually. Um, and people have been very happy that I've managed to get cheaper, but yeah, I mean, that is what I'm going to have to pay at least here. And because there was no interest in it and it is a stretchy cotton, I, I did reduce it to 25. If I'd have hung out, I'm sure I'd have got more, but I've got more for like skirts and that, but yeah, I was in a bit of blitz mode. Um. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, actually, uh, did I set an offer on this? This is a Scotch and Soda. This is lush, this shirt, actually. It's got poppers. It's, I always love it when there's a bit of, you know, a bit of interest going on here, a bit of contrast. I think that's on the cuffs. And then when, um, I'll have a look, see if it was an offer. When I saw what, pro and it's an Excel or something. When I saw the price I'd accepted, I was like, oh. I don't think I realised what a lovely shirt. Oh, yeah, it's a double XL. A lovely shirt this is. Oh, and it's got stuff on the back. Maybe I was drunk. What does it sell for? Scotch and soda. Um, again, I don't know where this... Oh, yeah, only, only £18. But I think I only paid about three for this, so that's all good. I've got more than a ton of profit out of that. Uh, yeah, probably about... Yeah, probably got the same profit out of that as I did the um, Proven Connection dress but paid less but yeah just i just get what i can um yeah i like that so and the big thing i mean oh you can't see it behind me i've also had this literally a good year it was one of the first things i bought i oh yeah so where are we over a year it was one of the first things i got it's there's some harry potter bookends in here and bookends themselves, I don't know, they go for like 20-ish quid or something, but because it was in this original box, it's not got all the books. It's the paperbacks, they haven't been read, like mint, but yeah, because, it, you know, it's like, oh, it's boxed, um, all the rest of it, they're normally just loose. I end high, and obviously too high because I've had it a year. But yesterday it sold for £80, and I paid eight, so... I actually got that from Henley for eight, which is remarkable because you can't really get anything in Henley for eight usually. Uh, but it's taken ages. And But as part of my new, I want to get rid of the bulky stuff. Um, I want to yeah, clear some sticky stock. And I'm like, right, I'm dropping this by £10, um, you know, each time until it sells. And the watches were going up. Um, and then, yeah, yesterday, eight quid, fine. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've got going out. Um, I'll, I'll just briefly tell you my goals. I don't know how long I've been muttering on for, but you can always switch over. Um, I need some more of this Garana stuff. Uh, yeah, so if you're on Insta, you'll have seen this. I'm Shelster H on Insta. My July goals are to reach 900 listings before the summer holidays begin because I've got two wrap bags who will be demanding attention and time and we'll be doing stuff um so that is actually oh yeah i'm actually down to 807 so that, that is quite that will be quite an achievement for me um but i kind of want to get to that to kind of take me through the summer and then aim to get to a thousand four q4 starts another goal second goal is to replace my bulky items and the sticky stock with my new favorites um always a favorite of mine is stuff is little stuff I've always been like this anyway um I, I said once god can you imagine if you were like you were a specialist tie seller how I also how lovely would it look to have all your ties or you know or, or in drawers all like in like like Mary Kondo style all rock. I just love that and I love selling ties and I sold two Liberty ties last week um and I know it's tie season with like weddings and races um, but I'm like, oh, yeah. So they're on my list of stuff that I'm happy to carry on picking up. Um, yeah, so easy to package stuff. And so I am reducing the bulky stuff, reducing stuff that's been there for a freaking year. And to be honest, when I look at it, God, it's a, pretty, you know, it's a horror, really. Probably 200 of those, even though I did a massive cull earlier this year, probably 200 of that stuff is stuff I've 
well, I've fallen out of love because that hasn't sold. Um, and obviously no one else loves it because they're not buying it. So trying to get rid of that anyway, replace that and get to 900 listings. So that's a goal, that would be difficult. Um, oh, massive fail on my June goal for, what was the June goal? Three vegan days a week, that's right. Total fail. I did not realize how much, like I would say I would have a vegetarian corn sausage usually. I'd look it up and I'd go, oh, there's egg in this. And I hadn't, I just, I didn't know. I didn't realize there was such a gap between vegetarian and vegan. I'm like, oh, so it's not a vegan day today then. And I found that really difficult. But I still want to cut down and go more plant based. So, I, I thought actually an achievable goal would just have three vegan dinners a week, um, not the whole day, but the dinner. So I so I'm not feeling like oh there's no point in trying today. It's still something I can aim for, and um, still reducing milk, um, you know, having stuff like the twinings and that. So yeah, that's something I can do. Um, and then my last goal was to return my Fitbit to my wrist and start stepping again. You know, it's been so long since I've had this Fitbit on. It says that it's quarter to two at the moment. Here's my Fitbit. And um, I tried to sync it with my phone and it's just going berserk. So I might have to reinstall the app. That's how long I haven't had it on. Um, but I'm just, yeah, I'm quite aware that I'm probably doing very little exercise and just sitting here with YouTube on or moving over there to photograph something. So yes. Um, I think that's everything I was going to wish on about. Hope, uh, hopefully, um, everyone's sales will start picking up. I know um, some people. Well, yeah, going through what I went through in March and May, and it's hideous. Um, yeah, I, I've been. Yeah, I've been doing all the stuff. Like, look at it over the whole tax year rather than just this month. I've been you know, taking on all the advice and I've, I've been trying to look at it and say, well, technically I'm in profit. All this stuff is paid for. So just try and recoup some of the money on stuff that maybe is less popular than it was a year ago um, and reinvest that in better stock, more desirable stuff, even if it's going to cost me over a grand <laughs> for the month. Um, but I'm more confident it's actually going to sell, make me a profit, and a profit's a profit, isn't it? Because obviously you're going to get you get your profit, but you're going to get your stake back as well, which you can keep reinvesting. So, you know, that's the way I am reassuring myself at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think that will do, won't it, for this morning? I don't know when I was last on here. So I'm, yeah, five past ten. I'm going to get a few bit. Oh, I suppose I could do some packaging, get a few bits listed. Um, and carry on twinkling around with my listings. Um, good luck to everybody. I hope you get some sales. Clawing back money on this year. Yeah, it's really hard. And it is like peeling. It's like when you're decluttering and like peeling an onion. You, you, you look at your listings and there's a little bit and you realise, oh, actually, I need to revise these. And then you concentrate on those. You get those done. And you're like, oh, God, done these. And then... You, you get deeper and deeper into the layers you're like oh my word there's so much crap on here um which pain 18 sales going out today for me oh that sounds quite good is that good for you um yeah so yeah have a have a lovely day everybody